So for today's 31 Nights, I thought I'd do a review on the short story, The Monkey's Paw by W.W. Jacobs. Now, the story was published in 1902 and tells the tale of a young couple named Mr. and Mrs. White who receive a mysterious ha mummified hand from a friend. Now, this man, who goes by the name Morris, tells the family that this um, peculiar hand can grant the wishes of anyone who is using it. That being said, however, like with any other story like this, there is a very hefty price w that comes with using this paw. And Mr. and Mrs. White are about to learn the horrifying consequences that come with trying to alter fate. And they'll learn very soon just how powerful and dangerous this paw truly is. What I find most interesting, interesting about this horror about this horror story is that there isn't really anything outright that we should be afraid of. In fact, a lot of uh, the horror is, you know, approached in a more very subtle way. Like, there isn't any kind of monster, alien, or deranged killer or anything like that. The horror comes more comes from just how far this family is willing to go, even if it means horrible consequences for them. And I think that's the message of this story, is just how far we're willing to go to get what we truly th think we truly want, even if it if we're told that doing so would have very dangerous out have a very dangerous outcome. I mean, even their friend Morris, who gave them paw, warns them of just how dangerous the paw truly is, but they still insist on using it because they think that the power the paw has will make their lives better. And for what it seems, the paw makes it bad stuff happen from the wishes you make so that you'll want to make more wishes to make up for the consequences of the previous wish. Like at the beginning, they wish for a shit ton of money, so the very next day, one of their family members ends up in a horrible accident, and they end up getting the um, a, a shit ton of money for as a way to compensate for it. And that's all I really want to say about the monkey's paw, because I feel if I feel I feel like if I go on any further, I'm just gonna go avoid the whole premise. But the one thing I truly do admire is the fact that this horror story doesn't try to be outright scary right away. In fact, it's more insistent on telling a story before it tries to scare you. Like this is probably the most tragic couple I've seen in a horror story, simply because of all this horrible shit that this paw is bringing upon their lives. And despite how, you know, dangerous the paw truly is, you can kind of understand why they keep insisting on using it, because there seems to be a part of the couple that truly believes that they can make everything better just from using this paw. And that's one of the scariest things about it, because I feel like a lot of us, you know, if we were given the opportunity to get everything we wanted, you know, even if it came with a hefty price, a lot of us would still insist on taking it. And I don't mean to get into any spoiler territory, but the horror, a lot of the horror is kept in the shadows. Take the scene where someone or something is knocking on their door, and Mr. White wants to wish, try to wish the person away. Meanwhile, Mrs. White is opening the door, thinking it's someone she knows, won't go and won't tell who it is. But just that right there, like, you know, you don't know who's outside that door, but you know for sure that whatever it is because of the horrifying stuff that this paw has caused that it is not the person that miss miss white thinks it is i also like how the writer caused other witch wishes to happen simply because of the dangerous outcomes of the previous wish because not only does it show how enslaved these people are by their wants and desires but it also might suggest a slight source of evil Almost like the Paul wants, to, wants you to keep making these wishes. And like I said, there this is a very tragic book, because not in, to go into any spoilers or anything, but it does deal with loss and how a lot of us would, you know, how grief affects people so much that they would give anything to see their lo that specific loved one again, even if it had horrible consequences for them, because they're just so um overwhelmed by their grief and the love that they had for them. That they do not care about the possible um, dangers that could arise for it from, you know, trying to see them again. But yeah, the monkey's paw is a really great horror story that doesn't try too hard to be like shocking or anything, and you know, still manages to come off as pretty unnerving in some areas. 
I give the monkey's paw an A+. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and sub for more content.